Hey guys, welcome on my channel. My name is Marcus and today we are talking about the cable physics. I was doing this video already in German and the feedback was very good so I decided to do it in English as well but it's a little challenge for me because explaining this in English is not that easy but we will see. So let's start with the video. Um, as I said it's about the cable physics I would say. Because in other videos I was already talking about the physics, about ankles, approach, speed and stuff. But I never did a video which was very detailed about the physics. So now we are doing this. And for that we are using an example which I think is very helpful to a lot of people. Because we are talking about a 360 over a kicker. Because a lot of people who are doing a 360 over the kicker have the same problem. The arm is very long. And they have no idea how they can make the handle pass. And of course for this problem there are a lot of reasons and we are talking about the physics. So what is the problem when you want to do a handle pass when you're doing a 360 and the arm is too long. What is the problem you have? The problem is when the arm is long the pull on the rope yeah, is very strong. And because of that you are not able or it's very difficult to pull the handle to your body to make the handle pass. So the question is why is that pull so strong? The answer for that is you have different ways to go for the approach. Of course the normal way when you try a 360 over a kicker for the first times is that you chose a slow approach. But when you're doing a slow approach you will have some problems. Yeah? When the approach is a little bit slower as you can see here because this is the cable way in direction yeah, you have uh, not that much speed. So what is the problem when you're going for a 360 or any trick over a kicker and you don't have that much speed. When you're going for the kicker a little bit more slow like this yeah, the ankle you cut for the kicker is a little bit I would say easier than you go with, a, with more speed. Yeah? And when you go for the kicker with less speed the angle is a little bit smoother as you can see here. But then the problem is yeah, when you go for the kicker with this approach with that speed the direction from where the pull of the cable is coming yeah, comes a little bit more to, uh, from the front. And when the pull is coming more from the front because of the cable is going in this direction with 30 kilometers per hour yeah, and then the cable will pull you much more stronger than when you go like this. Because when you go for the kicker with more speed the ankle to the, to the cable is a little bit I would say more aggressive yeah, and more big. So you go with more speed and because of you go for the kicker with more speed you will get faster in this direction. So the way from you as a rider to the carrier yeah, where, the, where the rope is fixed is not that long yeah, than here. And because of that the ankle where the, the yellow rope, yeah, the rope goes to the carrier is also a little bit more smooth because yeah, it's clear. When the pull is coming from that direction, yeah, strong from the front, the pull itself will be stronger and the handle pass is way harder. Okay? So when you take a little bit more speed for the kicker, you're cutting with a little bit more aggressive, yeah, then the angle is a bit better because the pull is not coming directly from the front, it's coming more from the side. And of course when the pull is not coming that much from the front, more from the side like here. Yeah, the pull is way softer okay and when the pull is softer the handle pass is much more easier okay. You can see this over here. This is the corner where the motor tower is okay. This is the kicker. This is a slow approach as you can see here and this is the ankle for the rope okay. And when you see it like here yeah, you're going with a fast approach for the kicker. This angle is a little bit better because as I said before the pull is coming a little bit more from the side. And then it's easier to make the handle pass. Okay? A very important point. Yeah? Please go just a little bit, a little bit faster for the kicker. Not much faster because of course when you go for the kicker very fast and very hard it's not that easy to reach the kicker maybe. Okay? This could be dangerous. So find a balance in between. Yeah? Don't uh, go for the kicker very slow. Don't go for it very fast. Just take a little bit more speed and then you will see yeah, it's much more easier as said before to make the handle pass. Okay? Another very important thing is of course you have a kicker the, the height and the dimension of the kicker depends. Okay? Not every kicker is built the same. But uh, it's clear when you have a kicker you will have a gradient because the kicker is going up. Okay? 
And when you have a slow approach, you have not that much speed. Of course, you will lose more speed yeah, when you go over the kicker because of the gradient. So, and when you have a little bit more speed for the approach, yeah, you can pass over that gradient much more easier. You don't lose that much speed, okay? And then, of course, the flight curve, as you can see here, will be a little bit longer. Because when you go for the kicker with less speed, you have the gradient of the kicker, as you can see here. Yeah? The flight curve will, will look like that, you know. It's not that long, you will fall down. And of course, then the pull of the cable is stronger. And then the handle pass is more difficult, okay. So when you take a little bit more speed, as you can see here, you can pass over, as I said before, the gradient of the kicker. Yeah? And the flight curve will be a little bit longer. The pull of the rope is not that hard. The handle pass is easier. And a very special point, the landing, yeah? the landing is much more softer. Because when you fall down like this, it's harder. Yeah? And when you go with a long flight curve with, with a little bit more speed, the landing is a little bit more softer. Okay? So you have many advantages when you go for the kicker with a little more speed. All this I explained before for the example of the 360. Of course, this physics, you can use this for many other cases, for a lot of tricks, for a lot of situations. And the thing is, yeah, when you think about these things, yeah, if you do not just go on the water, you try a trick, it doesn't work, and you said, uh, I don't know what was the problem, just try it again and again. Of course, you can do that. But when you think about it, yeah, what is the mistake? Yeah? What could be the reason physically why it didn't work? Okay? Then you will improve your riding much more faster, you will get improved better, and you will land your tricks much more easier, okay? Okay, guys, as I said, for me as a German, it's very, very hard to explain something like this with the physics in English, but I hope you understand what I wanted to say, and it helped you a little bit. If not, ask me a question in the comments, I will answer that, no problem. But I would be happy if you give the video a like, um, subscribe to my channel, also, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, visit my website. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video, as I said. I hope it helped you to land your 360 or other tricks and other stuff. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you in the next video.